I think the first thing that every business should first do is be online. And I think it's really where Google is really committed. Uh, we have a free platform called Google My Business. This, they will be sent a postcard and then they will be able to validate using the pin that they get from the postcard. And immediately your business will be found on search and on maps. This is important because when people are searching and in maps, you need to be able to be found. And that this is really free. The second one that I think business could do is to do a website. You know, in, within Google My Business, there's a free uh, website service that you, people could do. And then once you have that website, you could control the information that you have. I've tried it. It's very, very user-friendly. It doesn't uh, require any costs. You could put pictures, your own pictures, and you already have an online presence. So that's 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 at least the very basic thing that people would, would be able to do. The other question that you have is uh, when it comes now to spending on digital advertising. Obviously, I think when you when you want to try out something, my also suggestion is try it out, experiment muna. Hindi muna kagat malaking 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 expense, right? So within Google AdWords, there's a lot of resources available. There's a there's a service called Google AdWords Express. So the Google AdWords Express, very easy lang. You just need to say your target market, how much is your budget, and then it will it already give a campaign for you, and then. My suggestion is try it out first. If it's not delivering business, maybe it will think about what you could think of. But if it does, then it, at least it gives you confidence to try out. Okay. Um, I, you know what? This is we, we build this platform for everyone. Okay. When we say everyone, hindi lang para sa mga bata, but also uh, kahit sa mga ano, mga ones, young ones, right? And as you said, we don't want a situation where only the tech savvy are the ones who are benefiting from it. We want every single business to be able to benefit. That's why a lot of the resources are are in YouTube. So these are all free. People could really access it, and you could really use it as a learning opportunity. I think a lot of the fear comes from ignorance. If you'll be able to understand how it works, and you'll be able to see other businesses doing as well, doing it and using it as well and succeeding, I think I really, I'm really confident that the barrier will also be. I think where you could really help is how could we tell more as much as you're featuring businesses which are succeeding how about businesses which are succeeding because of online to get that stories out all the more that we will encourage other people that it works business digital drives business and something that, that i would really encourage hopefully with with physical business will also get the story out that digital could help the businesses so uh, as i said um, it has never been an exciting time to be a small business in the Philippines. I think the way we should look at really digital is, is this is a great enabler for us to level the playing field, a great enabler for us to reach as many customers as we want uh, now that we have online and now we could compete with any business not just here in the Philippines but also globally. I think the first thing that every single business should do is how do you be present and secondly is how do you learn to be able to really maximize this. So I, I, I would just encourage everyone that embrace digital not as something that you would fear but something that will help you really grow in, in this digital age. Thank you.